everybody, JC here from Toy News International. Um, I just wanted to shoot this video real quick just to kind of go over a bunch of the cool things that we have going on on the websites for the month of October. Um, we've got some really cool contests going on. Um, we've got um, coverage of the New York Comic Con coming up later this week. And we have another great podcast with the Collector Connection uh, coming up. So I just wanted to go over some of those things in case you've missed it on the site. Um, so for the contest, we've got two contests going on actually. One on Toy News International, which is a forum contest where you can win $100 store credit from Kokomo Toys. Um, basically all you have to do is you just have to register or be registered on our forums and then just contribute or post uh, topics that are related to toys and things like that um, on our forums. And so every time you post, you get entered for a chance to win. And then at the end of the month, we'll have a drawing and one lucky person will win the $100 store credit. And if you've never heard of Kokomo Toys, they're based out of Kokomo, Indiana. Um, they're a physical store, but they also have an online presence. Um, and they sell a lot of great uh, vintage products as well as new products for things like G.I. Joe, Transformers, Marvel, you know, you name it, they pretty much carry it. So I hope you check them out and I hope you check the contest out. Um, the second contest we're doing is on Marvelous News con uh, uh, MarvelousNews.com and it's a Halloween costume contest. And so basically all you have to do with that one is you just have to take a picture of yourself wearing a Marvel Comics based theme co costume. So whether you're a cosplayer or you're just dressing up for Halloween or you've just got a costume lying around that's Marvel based, you know, we want to see a picture of you wearing it. And then you just post the picture of you wearing it and you're entered in the contest. And it'll be a judging contest. It'll be me, uh, Shardimus Prime, and Pixel Dan will be the judges. But there's ways you can influence the judges and all kinds of stuff. And it's really fun. And you get a chance to win one of three great prizes. The first place winner is going to win a very nice Hot Toys 1 6 scale Ironmonger figure. This thing's got it like a value of over $400. It's huge, lots of detail. If you're familiar with Hot Toys and you know the kind of detail and quality that goes into those figures, and we're giving you a chance to win the Ironmonger figure. Uh, second place winner is going to be able to walk away with a San Diego Comic Con exclusive Marvel Legends Savage Land box set. This was the set that was sold a couple years ago from Hasbro at the San Diego Comic Con and we're giving you a chance to win one. And then the third place winner is going to uh, walk away with a Marvel Universe Masters of Evil 3 pack that was sold last year as a San Diego Comic Con exclusive from Hasbro. So three great prizes. All you have to do is just show us a picture of you wearing your Marvel based costume and you'll be entered for the chance to win. So I hope you check both of those contests out. Uh, links below to take you to more detailed information on how you can enter to win. Um, next up, um, tell you about we've got later this week actually we'll be kicking off our coverage of the New York Comic Con. Um, we're going to be starting things off this Wednesday evening with coverage of a special Hasbro event uh, that Hasbro is running for members of the media where basically they're going to be showing off a uh, new product for their Star Wars, Marvel, and Transformer lines. And they'll be there to answer questions and so hopefully we'll get updates on questions that I know you guys have been asking things like, you know, when will we ever see those Marvel Legend uh, swap figures like Blade and and such. So hopefully maybe we can get an update on that, see if there, there's any movement on when those could be released or if they're going to be released. Uh, plus, you know, just see what new product they have on hand for those three brands. So keep checking toynewseye.com, tformers.com, and marvelousnews.com for, for complete coverage of that starting this Wednesday. And then starting on Thursday throughout the weekend will be the actual New York Comic Con event, which we'll also be bringing you coverage of. Um, we'll be uh, covering the Mattel stuff. The Mattel is going to have a panel there uh, where they're going to go over more new Masters of the Universe classic stuff. Uh, Diamond Select Toys, uh, DC Comics, um, uh, Kotobukiya, SH Figure Arts, 
Square Enix. There's going to be all kinds of stuff on display there, and we're going to be bringing you complete coverage of it. So check out ToyNewsEye.com starting this Wednesday evening and then throughout the weekend for complete coverage of the New York Comic Con. And then finally, I just want to tell you about our new podcast that we run on ToyNewsEye.com. It's called The Collector Connection. And it's a monthly podcast that stars Pixel Dan, Sean Long, Shardimus Prime, and myself. And each month, basically, we bring on somebody from the toy industry to, to talk with us, answer questions, you know, just talk about the industry in general. Um, and it's very cool. The first episode, we had Cornboy from the Four Horsemen on talking about their independent lines like the Outer Spacemen and Power Lords, as well as, you know, the lines they work on from Mattel like Masters of the Universe Classics and, and DC. And in our second episode, we had uh, Scott Nylick from Mattel on talking about Masters of the Universe Classics. And then Pat Linden, who was from, is from Playmates Toys, and he shared a lot of great information about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line with us. Um, and then this month is going to be our third episode, which will be airing the Tuesday after New York Comic Con, um, which I believe is the... I want to say the 15th um, of October, but it'll be the Tuesday, it'll be, so basically not this Tuesday, but the following Tuesday um, will be our third episode. And for that, we're going to have Randy Falk from NECA Toys on, talking to us about all the great products that they're doing and working on, and just sharing his thoughts about the industry and the toy lines that you know they do and everything. So it should be a great episode. I hope you guys check it out. Um, there's a link below uh, to the podcast site where you can check out all our episodes. Um, and so, you know, like I said, a lot of great things going on this month. A lot of great prizes for you guys to win. A lot of great information that should be coming out this month. So, um, about all your favorite lines, really. So, hopefully you'll be tuning in. And until next time, I'll check you later. Oh, 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 oh,